Hey everyone, so you're probably here because you got the new page experience, you wanted to add somebody on your page, and just like every other Facebook issue, you just can't seem to figure it out. <laughs> so we're gonna show you how you can, uh, especially with the new pages experience, add page roles to your page through the Meta Business Suite, because uh, that's pretty much, I think, where you could do it for the most part now. And so again, this is to add someone as your admin or to add a page role on your Facebook. And you've lost it because you just can't seem to figure it out. We're gonna show you here how to do that. So first of all, what you wanna do is of course, log into your Meta Business Suite, which we have done in here. And once you log in, you should you know see your dashboard that has every other uh, thing here, your create reel, create here, uh, your home notification contents. If your dashboard doesn't look like this, then um, you probably um, don't have the, it's probably not Meta Business Suite or updated, um, but you should. this is exactly what you should be seeing right now. So what you wanna do is you go to your, um, uh, all tools to the left here. So this is your menu on the left here. You can see here, you wanna make sure that you've also selected the right page that you wanna add access to with the drop down menu over here. Once you've logged into Meta Business Suite, you should be able to see your accounts on the left here, provided that they've been incorporated into your account, right? Okay, so uh, to the left here again, you uh, go to the left and it moves your menu out and then you scroll down and what you wanna do is go to all tools. Again, go to all tools, the three bars right here to the left that I'm going to. And once you click that, it's gonna show you this display. Okay, under this display, you can see there's just a bunch of stuff here, but this is where you're gonna be led to where you can uh, manage your page roles and whatnot. So right here, you see page settings. If you could see, look to the right here where I am. Uh, with my mouse here, page settings, manage page roles, Instagram and WhatsApp connections, more info associated with your page. What you want to then do is click that. <clears throat> now, once you click your page roles, you then um, get into uh, your another menu. <laughs> and this is where a lot of the confusion um, can come into place because now you're wondering how exactly um, do I give access to somebody on my page here? And it's not on here, it's not the groups, it's not anything over here. So what you wanna do is then click your new pages experience, okay? And under your new pages experience, you should see the page access tab right here under the new pages experience. Again, this is if your page has been changed to the new pages experience, not the old Facebook page, okay? All right, so under page access, you get to go to people with Facebook access to the right right here, okay? Uh, people with task access to the right right here. Uh, your community managers can moderate chat, comment, suspend, or remove people who violate community standards and see all admins of this page. So if you wanna give somebody um, uh, access to the Facebook page, all you have to do then is click add new here and Facebook access means you can switch into the page and manage it directly on Facebook or by using other tools like Meta Business Suite or Creator Studio. You get that access through here. Any actions you take as this any actions you take as this page including when you check into a location may be visible to anyone else who manages it. And anyone else with Facebook access will share the page experience including news feed and notifications for this page. So just so you know, the access that you're giving somebody on Facebook, this is all what they can do. So you wanna make sure that this is what you want them to be able to do, or if it's just a task. So then you would click next over here. Who should have uh, Facebook access of this page? You would go in here and you could search by name or by email. And it's mostly somebody, what I've realized is somebody that um, you've added as a friend um, or at least somebody who's uh, searchable there. So you could just type in any name here um, and it should be able to show, you know, a bunch of names that are um, your friends and then you would click that and then add them to the page and it will send them um, the uh, invitation to be added. The other one is people with task access, okay? Pretty much the same process to add, but so you know, 
Uh, the task access means you can switch into the page on Facebook, but they, but they can manage specific tasks using other tools like Meta Business Suite or Creator Studio. Any actions you take as this page may be visible to anyone else who manages it. So this is just tasks, different from people with the Facebook roles who can do um, a, a little bit more. Okay, so once you've done that, um, you've added them, you're all good. And then if you want to uh, um, uh, moderate community managers uh, that you want to add uh, to your page, of course, that's where you'd go and you'd add a community manager who then can do, um, who then can manage uh, your page for chats, uh, can suspend or remove people who violate community standards and see all admins um, of the page. So that's how with the new pages experience, you can add uh, somebody uh, to your Facebook page um, to have access as an admin, to have access uh, to do tasks, or to be a community manager. So I hope this was helpful. And if it is, once again, like the video and subscribe to our channel so you can continue to see all this great content that we give you to make your life easier because this, especially this one, <laughs> could be a little frustrating. So, all right, till next time, take care.